Good afternoon. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. I hope you're staying healthy, staying safe, and I hope you guys are washing your hands. I really hope you're washing your hands. If you're new here, welcome. On this channel, we talk about pretty much anything music related, whether it be music news, uh, working within the music industry, musical equipment, music theory, and things of that nature, such as gear reviews and song lessons. So if you haven't already, and I know that a lot of you haven't because I check my analytics now because I'm a YouTuber. If you haven't already, consider hitting the subscribe button so that you don't miss any videos that I have coming out in the future because I am going to start getting some more stuff rolling out real soon. With all that said, today I am back with another gear review. I was contacted recently by the wonderful people over at Donner. They asked me to check out another product for them. And so this time we're going to be checking out the Donner Flyer One wireless guitar system. When it comes to a wireless system for a guitar, the concept of it is pretty straightforward. You're separating what would be the connective element that connects the guitar to the amplifier, and you're making it so that there's no wire connecting the two while still maintaining a connection to the amplifier where you can produce sound from your guitar. But the bigger question is, why? Why would you have a wireless system for your guitar? The answer is pretty simple. Pretty much it's just a means of increasing your ability to move around freely while playing your instrument, whether it be the guitar or the bass. From a performance standpoint, having a cable that's not long enough is something that you don't realize until you try to go further than that cable allows you to go. So if you're trying to run across the entire length of a stage and you get to the halfway point and then all of a sudden you don't have any sound from your guitar, that probably means that the cable got yanked from the front of your amplifier and is now just dangling behind you like a long tail. And it really stinks. From a director standpoint, I can't tell you how many times I've had kids walk away from amplifiers at rehearsal not remembering that they're plugged into the amp. And by the time I'm able to go, the amp is already heading face down for the ground. <laughs> it, it's a nightmare. So it's not, cables aren't always the greatest. From a functional standpoint, when you're dealing with longer cable runs, sure, you have more distance to move around and be active when you're performing, but now you've got this long cable that you gotta worry about wrapping up when you're done, and you gotta worry about your bass player tripping over it and falling off the stage. No one wants that. I mean, maybe, nah, let's not even get into that. <laughs> But at the end of the day, having a wireless system for your guitar just makes all of these other problems no longer something that you need to consider as a factor. So in short, having a wireless connection from your guitar to your amplifier allows for less clutter on the stage and for you as a performer to run off and go where you want to go and explore a whole new world, a dazzling place you never knew. So the things that you want to consider when it comes to a wireless system are the amount of range you have to take the transmitter away from the receiver. So how much distance you have between those two before you lose your signal um, from your guitar to the amplifier. Now, additionally, the other factor that you want to keep in mind is how well does it maintain the clarity of your guitar's original sound? So how does it sound compared to a cable plugged directly from your guitar into an amplifier? There's certainly wireless systems on the market that don't maintain the same level of tonal quality that you would get if you were to plug a cable directly into your guitar and run it to an amplifier and maintain that physical connection. So for today, we're gonna see what the deal is with this Donner Wireless. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna stop talking and we're gonna check this thing out. Here we go. So I happen to be a big old dum dum, and I forgot to mention that I did two tests in regards to testing this wireless system. One inside amongst my computer and all the other guitars and just other obstacles in the room. And then one outside where there's a little bit more space and more of a direct connection in terms of the frequency from the transmitter to the receiver.
Now, as for the outdoor test, this video was taken from when I first got there the unit in the mail. I grabbed my guitar in my hand, but I just ran outside with them. All right. However, the instructions that came I'll with the unit walking. specify to charge both units now. to 100% before using right. them for the first time. And me being the dumb dumb that I am, I didn't read the instructions before I started using it because why would I? But anyway, I have to assume that might have played a role in the quality of the sound and the amount of range that was available to me in terms of how far I could get away from the amplifier. So as far as playability, you know, pretty much the situation is what it would be with any wireless system. As long as you're not trying to run to the other side of a football field, you should have enough range for both of these things to maintain your signal without any droppage at all. As far as durability, this is sort of the lower level of the wireless systems that Donner has to offer. And when I first took it out of the box, I noticed that the connection where the input jack connects to the actual receiver is a little loose and it's not I mean it's plastic like there's plastic components involved here and so would I bring this to a live show probably not I could see this being something that I would use if I was playing a backyard barbecue or if I'm just brainstorming ideas downstairs and I'm trying to work on a new song but I don't want to be seated and I just want to walk around and just uh you know let my brain wander along with my legs but for 50 bucks, you really can't argue with what you're getting. You're getting your maintained guitar signal with about four milliseconds of latency up to 100 feet. You're getting about four hours worth of battery life on a full charge. And you don't have to plug your guitar in. Like that's, that was like the big thing, right? Plus if you wanted to, you could plug multiple receivers going to one transmitter. No, one tra multiple transmitters going to one receiver. Yeah, you get it. You get what I mean. 
In my personal opinion, I'd see this particular model as an entry level model for someone who is just first making that transition from having their guitar plugged into an amplifier and standing stationary or sitting when they're playing to wanting to move around standing, running, whatever, and just being more active and not wanting to be inhibited by the connection of a cable and worried that you're going to be getting caught up in that. So if that sounds appealing to you, I would recommend going and checking out the Donner Flyer One wireless guitar system. So that's all I got for you guys for today. Um, I thank you for checking this video out. I hope you found it to be informative. Um, and if you like what I'm doing here, please consider subscribing and please hit that like button. It makes these videos more visible when people are searching for stuff to watch on YouTube. So I'd greatly appreciate it. And a big thank you to all my patrons over at Patreon for without you guys, these videos would be very hard to make and they'd be of a much lesser quality. So I thank you guys for all that you do. And if you would like to become one of the patrons to my channel, I'll leave information for all that down below. Any lesson videos that I do, anything regarding technique, any papers that I write out, I make all that stuff available to my patrons over on Patreon. So if that sounds appealing to you, check it out. And other than that, that's all I got for you all for today. Continue to stay safe, take care of each other and yourselves, and I will see you next time. Keep playing. Peace. All right. <laughs>